Last month, we brought you a report on a local car wash that stayed open for certain customers, even as non-essential businesses shut down, was prompted many of you to ask why a car wash would be essential. Christian Garzon has an update on that story for us now. Well, there are plenty of car washes that remain closed, but the Royal Car Washes owned by the Daniellis are now fully reopened and not just restricted to certain customers. Also, they're taking cash and credit cards at their kiosks. Now, rewinding just a bit, the Daniellis family applied for an exemption back in March after closing for 17 days. That exemption was granted because the washes are touch-free for certain members who prepaid and used a key fob. There was a pushback from the public, but now the Assistant Attorney General General for New York reviewed the operations here and gave Royal Car Wash the green light to again fully reopen for all customers. The only stipulation is they have minimal staff, about two workers at each location. And it was amazing when we first reopened up, uh, the people that were coming in, I mean, they just had smiles on their faces, the kids in the car, uh, you know, if they were coming back from Wegmans or whatever it was, uh, but even just individual drivers, they would just give us a thumbs up and they would just crack their window a little bit and say, thank you so much for opening. We just feel like we're starting to see some semblance of life come back. Now, other car washes that meet the criteria here, automatic mostly, minimal touching, can apply to reopen. We have more information on that at our website at rochesterfirst.com. In Brighton, Christian Garzone, News 8, back to you in the studio. All right, Christian, thank you. If you do you have any questions about essential businesses or any aspect of the coronavirus response? News 8 is offering another opportunity to get answers. Our next town hall is on this coming Tuesday, 7 o'clock. Congressman Tom Reed, Joe Morelli, and John Katko will be there. Send your questions to newsroom at WROCTV.com or you can ask questions through Facebook and Twitter.